Yo, 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 what it is? It's your boy, Damn D, P, Damn D Live News. And I'm here to give you the live news, man. We got Kyrie Irving talking about the free agency and a whole bunch of a lot of stuff. So let's get straight into it. Let's see what he got to say. But yeah, no, I just want to take this second to talk about, uh, you know, a few things that have been on my mind, on my heart, because um, I'm seeing my name get tossed around in so many speculations and rumors. Look, it's, it's just me who uh, runs my social handles. I don't have a big marketing team. I don't have a big social media team. And I probably do need one eventually, right? But right now, I don't have one. So whenever uh, you know people are discussing what I'm doing with my life and my career, and my circle is very, very small. It is not big at all. Now, I had to get rid of some people that were in my circle that you know, they could be bought, like they could be bought or their voice could be bought. I won't say they can be bought, but they could be bought. Like, so people were selling information and that happens all the time in entertainment, entertainment industry. Um, if you're unaware within this professional sports space of entertainment or entertainment industry, or entertainment business, whatever it is, like you have to move a certain type of way. I'm, I'm 31 years old now. I do not have the same level of thinking I had when I was in my twenties, but in this entertainment space, you can get trapped over um, you can get trapped within narratives that people share about you all right and that's never my focus now but i have to be aware that there's there's a lot of influence um that happens from the media and in regards to what i'm doing with my career and my life i, I hold it very sacred to me so um i'm never just gonna share information with just anybody is what i'm saying like if you hear something about my career it's gonna happen direct like this if you if you hear something um about what i'm doing with uh you know me being a free agent uh, with, uh, and within the shoe industry, it's gonna come from me. I am an independent entrepreneur. I'm not signed to no big agency or any big agency. I'm not signed to any big marketing agency. It's, it's just me. Like, you guys gotta understand that I changed up my whole entire business strategy over the last few years because of the reality of dealing with, you know, things that I've had to learn through and dealing with real life circumstances that, to be honest with you, um, it changed the way I viewed a lot of different people that I looked up to, you know what I mean? A lot of elders, a lot of OGs that um, over the last few years, like I reached out to them for help. And um, <laughs> a lot of them just, <laughs> a lot of them didn't even, you know what I mean? They don't really fuck with me like that. And, and it's not that I'm mad at it. It's just that when I'm curious and I want to learn new things and, I, and I'm trying to learn from my mistakes or learn from my lessons, um, I'm reaching out to people, um, you know, that are older than me that have more experience in different spaces. and. You know that, like my generation, we're just different, and um, we do things a little bit differently than the generation that came before me and the generation that came before them. But long story short, I'm saying I'm handling things the best way I know how, and that's very peacefully, that's very spiritually grounded, um, and it just being aware of timing. You know what I mean? Like I, I can't answer all the questions um, that people have about me, but what I can control is is the decision making that I have for myself. So um, I just wanted to clear some things up. Like I'm a free agent this summer, but I am in no rush to make a decision, and. Um, the speculation around my name from all these individuals that get on TV and have these personalities. I'm gonna, I'm gonna laugh at you. Just give me one second, I'll build it. Um, all these people that have, um, you know, these platforms. And then I'm talking about the TV personalities, the, the sports folk that try to mix sports with politics and lifestyle and shit like that. Like, when they speak on my name and, and, and they're talking about um, potential teams that I'm going to, can y'all please, I respectfully, like, I'm asking you, please stop paying attention to that. Like, I am in no rush to make a decision. I know what's ahead of me for the rest of my career in terms of what I can control, um, you know, skill level wise, drive wise, motivation. But um, I have a big picture in my mind of what I'm building for not just my basketball career, but for my life. You know, God has a plan for me. However you describe your own God, I'm sure they, they have a plan for you, but God has a plan for me. And it requires me to be more aware of um, the decisions that I'm making and being more responsible. Like I had to learn from that. But I wanted to talk about the social media aspect because don't let this shit mess with how you view other people. Like I, you, you guys barely know me on a 24 hour day basis, but social media make it seem like you know who I am. Stop mentioning me on Twitter. All y'all fan bases, stop mentioning me right now, please. It is still the Western Conference and Eastern Conference Finals. Like, or excuse me, Denver's going to the finals. You know, we're still waiting for Boston and Miami. Can y'all please leave me out of this? Please, can I just be with my family in peace? Y'all got people at my dinner table discussing what my free agency plans are. <laughs> stop that. Y'all think it's funny. Please stop that. I, like, I actually like having peace of mind when I'm at the crib, right? Like, I, I see all y'all ads. I, I see all y'all mentions. Okay, I said it. I see all y'all stuff y'all be saying. I see all y'all families. I get it. I get it. I'm just as excited as y'all are. But you gotta chill, though. You gotta chill though. Come on, like we can have some fun with it, but like the the love is 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 already there, right? The message is spread. I appreciate your ancestral run. Thank you for being tapped in.
Um, and I appreciate all y'all for tuning in. But please, all y'all fan bases, like, stop mentioning me just for like the next month or two or three. Whenever I make my decision, please stop mentioning me. <laughs> All right, man. So there you go. We got Kyrie Irving talking about basically the uh, Laker trade because there have been a lot of rumors about uh, Kyrie Irving going to the Lakers. I made a video about Kyrie Irving going to the Lakers. So uh, he just coming out and uh, speaking on it, man. So y'all leave a comment down below, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about Kyrie Irving going to his IG live and talking about the trading rumors of him, uh, you know, getting traded. To the Lakers, or not only the Lakers, but just his free, his free agency, man. So uh there we go, man. Y'all leave a comment down below and y'all let me know how y'all feel about this, man. Shout out to Kyrie Irving, always doing his thing, and I appreciate him, you know, coming out to the public and letting people know, hey, chill out, man. I'm gonna make my decision when I make my decision. I can respect that. But I'm still gonna probably make a video, I ain't gonna lie, because you know, I gotta get my money. It's your boy DMD, I'm signing out, y'all. Peace.